What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to export in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro opened and this is actually a clip from yesterday's tutorial where I show you how to freeze frame in Premiere Pro and now we're actually going to export it. So what you need is these markers up here which is our rendering time, you can see it also changes from here as well. So whatever's in this highlighted area will be rendered. If you don't see them, which I didn't see them that far you need to right click above your timeline as you can see it says mark in and mark out so you would right click and select mark in then you would right click again at another place and select mark out from there you'll get these two markers so from there you can come to file export and media so this is what should come up and very quickly before we actually get into the settings as you can see over here we have the video we're about to render and you can go through it and you can also choose your render regions from here as well. So as you can see these little triangles, if I bring this in, that is now the render region. So I cut out the start and you can do the exact same to the end as well. For example, it's just black here. So I'm going to bring that back and I'm going to bring it back up to here when the water is off screen like that. So that is now my render region. Now for the format, I recommend H264. At the moment preset is set to custom because I've already changed the settings, however we're going to come all the way down and as you'll see it says YouTube and I want YouTube 1080p so we're going to select this and everything here we're going to leave the same. But as you can see we get to bitrate, this is where we're going to change, the maximum bitrate we're going to put all the way up. Now the target bitrate, this will make your file size increase. At the moment at the bottom here it says estimated file size is 32 megabytes. You'll see if I bring up the target bits rate, it goes up to 77 and it'll just keep going up the more we slide up. So I recommend staying around 30 for this and it's completely optional. Um, if you have enough space of course just go all the way up if you really want to but I'll just stay here. Then if we come down more you can just leave these the same. Of course if your video is in VR you can add that. We're then going to head over to the audio tab and here we're going to leave everything the same and we also have a very good bitrate at 320 which is going to give you the best audio quality. The next thing we're going to do is come here and select use maximum render quality so this is going to get the best out of your video. Then we can simply select export and now it's going to be exporting as you can see it's very very quick to do. Uh, it is a short video I believe it's 16 seconds as you can see right here. So again it's not going to take too long. So it just got done and I'm going to go to the folder where I saved it which is right here and if we just open this up here it is. It estimated 60 megabytes it actually went to 61.5 megabytes so it was fairly close and let's just open this up. There's going to be no sound but as you can see very clear HD render and this is the freeze frame it's not uh, ed it's not um, a problem with it rendering that is how I made the clip. Now one last thing I want to show you very quickly which I forgot and I apologise for not showing you. When you come to file and export and then media, to choose the location as you can see it says output name, you select this and you choose wherever you want to, maybe the desktop for example, you can choose the file name. So let's just go with example and then you select save and from there you've picked where the output file will be. But that is it for this video, like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and uh, peace.